This is a story of somebody who hired either A, an incompetent lawyer, or B, ran with a really bad strategy for their defense. That's right, sisters. This ain't our fight. This one ain't one of ours. Sit this one out, sisters. You said the same thing with Pirates of the Caribbean. You said the same thing. I said, they're going to call back Johnny. And they called back Johnny. You said either. No, they didn't. They didn't call him back. Jonathan Majors. A lot of folks wanted us to cover it. I yeah. did some readings on it. If you aren't aware who Jonathan Majors is. It's a star. Um, I've never seen any of his movies, so I didn't know who he was for a long time. I have. Uh, but essentially, this guy was like the face of the MCU, apparently. Yeah, he got embroiled in some domestic, uh, uh, ended up costing him everything, uh, went to trial, and just a few days ago, he was found guilty on two of the four charges. Now, a lot of people feel some type of way. Some people saw the released footage of Jonathan Majors running away from his girlfriend, uh, which I think is worth watching. Blocks. Because... Bro, um, that was the way that was she not, chased him down in heels like a Terminator. That was not that was not running away. That was a whole last marathon. This was a chase you see in movies where they running, <laughs> they be jumping over fences and stuff like that. And you're like, where are they going? How long are they running? I can't run for that long. They've been running for that long. So this is them in the car. Allegedly, they're essentially fighting over his phone because she claims she saw texts from another woman. So she took his phone and he's trying to put him, like, to take the phone back. Anyways. So this is them fighting. And then you see him walking away. He yanks her off, tells her, get away from me. And he starts hightailing it. And he pushes her off and he runs. And she chases him. God damn. She's chasing him in heels. She says, give me that phone back. Who's that whore? I thought I was supposed to be your Michelle Obama. Is this what Barack is doing to his girl? And she's running. She's not giving up. Blocks, bro. Listen, if people fought for their marriage the way she's chasing after him, I think nobody would get divorced. She sees uncommon traffic. She said, I love you, nigga. She said the N-word. Is that in the audio? No, but I just want to believe she did. Jeez. Turn the corner. Hey, there's some little another rental block. bikes. You know what I'm saying? Another block. Oh, wait. There's more. The, the video keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's long. It's, it's very long. long. She, she chases it. It's very long. She chases it. And this is where a lot of the contention comes into play because people see that video and they're like, clearly this man is not the aggressor. Why was he found guilty? And let's read some of the charges. According to the criminal complaint, Majors hit Jabari's face, twisted her arm, and fractured her finger during a fight in a chauffeured car. That's the video that we saw. Uh, she provided video evidence or picture evidence. You can see some of the wounds behind her ear. You can see the bruising to her fingers. And so they're saying the evidence presented throughout this trial illustrated a cycle of psychological and emotional abuse. And escalating patterns of coercion far too common across many intimate partner violence cases we see in every day, said Alvin Bragg in, his, in a statement. Today, a jury determined that that pattern of abuse and coercion culminated with Mr. Majors assaulting and harassing his girlfriend. Now. It's a bit of a loaded thing. It's not really what the charges say, but that's what the lawyer's going to say because he wants to make it seem like the biggest win, mm -hmm. right? Because prosecutors got to do that. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So he was found not guilty. Assault in the third degree. Injury intentional. He was found not guilty of it being intentional. And he was found not guilty of aggravated harassment, second degree intentional. Okay. What he was found guilty of was physical injury, reckless, and harassment of the second degree, um, intentional. So the difference between aggravated harassment and harassment is basically like one of them is a misdemeanor, which means like you're just getting a fine versus one's actual criminal record and it'll stay there. So aggravated harassment would be much more serious than um, harassment in the second degree. And the difference between the intentional result in the third degree versus reckless is sometimes you can just engage in behavior that's seen as reckless and hurt somebody but they don't think it's premeditated or with intention to hurt the other person so for example um let's say you bump into somebody while you're running down the street and you hurt them severely as you're running and you push right through them that could be seen depending on like the person being old and different things like that and how you should have known better than to just run through the street and bulldoze over people like that that could be seen as reckless that's what he was found guilty of so it doesn't really follow with the statement of the lawyer who says like, oh, well, the jury found that there was a pattern and coercion and all this stuff. They're just saying in the heat of a moment and what is essentially a very toxic relationship between two people, uh, he engaged in reckless injury. Now, 
I'll let you go first. What do you think about everything that you've heard so far? Oh, just to be clear too, it did cost him his job. The MCU fired him right afterwards, or Disney did. Uh, it's cost him all of his acting gigs, all of his commercials. So this dude was the rising star. Everybody's looking out for him. And now his career is pretty much over or dead in the water as of right now. So that's the consequence he suffered. Yeah, I, I don't think he did it. I just think he's got bad lawyers. Um, you think? Yeah. Um, they were essentially trying to paint him as like some good man who wouldn't do this kind of stuff. And I'm like, if you'd have just gone the self-defense route, I don't think you would have lost. I don't know why he was going through this route. I was like, nothing ever happened. And then, like, then you see the pictures. Like, clearly she got hurt. And there was a tussle. There's no doubt about that. You can see it on camera. So, you know, going that route is so stupid to me. It's like, if somebody takes your possession, by law, you're allowed to use force to get it back. Now, it has to be proportionate. But grabbing someone and pushing them away as you're grabbing back your phone, 100%. It doesn't change because that person is your girlfriend. It doesn't change because that person is your wife. If they grab something from you, you're allowed to physically grab them and push them off as you grab your stuff. The reckless thing, it's hard for even I'm the jury to find him not guilty of that because yeah. he clearly did hurt her. Yeah. And if you're not even going to make the affirmative de defense of like, well, she had my possession and I was taken aback, then I can't give you the not guilty verdict because you did hurt her. You did. Yeah. You don't, you don't yeah, have an explanation for why. Right. You're claiming it didn't happen, but we can see the video yeah. and we can see the pictures. So you clearly did hurt her. You know, if it's like this, you're running down the street. Mm -hmm. Okay, you run into an old woman recklessly. And then they ask you afterwards, after she gets injured, why did you do that? And you're like, I never did that. I can see you hurt the person. But if you say, no, there was a shooting down the block and I was running away, then the motive actually changes it. So it's the same injury, same circumstances. It becomes acceptable because there's a reason why you were bolting it down the street. I'm he still, didn't provide- I'm still, I'm still gonna be guilty it, of- Exactly, yeah. he didn't provide a good reason for why. And I'm just like, bro, just say self-defense. Yeah, maybe from a PR standpoint, it won't look like the best thing to your future career. But now you have a guilty charge on something you shouldn't have a guilty charge. Because if you think about it, right, the law doesn't change because the other person's your partner. It doesn't change because the other person's small, provided the injuries are proportionate. Now, if you'd have given her two black eyes and stomped out one of her legs and like, okay, obviously that's not proportional, then you're much more severe injuries. But the injuries were very consistent with people tussing over a phone. I think, and then with the video evidence of him running away and him basically saying, "Listen, this girl was trying to invade my privacy, whatever the fuck it might be, and I need to get away from her because she's taking my stuff." That's a a defense that makes more sense to me. Mm -hmm. But just going to like, "Oh, he's a good man. He would never do this. She was actually the abuser." That's stupid to me. I think the thing that he was saying that he didn't do was the abuse, the the verbal and the, the coercion and stuff like that. Because when he was saying, what, one evidence that they showed was the speech that he was giving her. It's like, yo, listen, I'm I'm, I'm being great. I'm doing great stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want you to come home and being drunk like that. Like, Michelle Obama want to do this. Mm -hmm. They started naming up a whole bunch of people. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coretta yeah. Smith. All that people, all, all those people. It's like, no, I did not yell at her, which in the, in the, in the, in the evidence, I don't see that he was yelling. Mm -hmm. He was talking to his wife. Yeah, was he scolding her? Is that yeah. his wife? His girl. Okay. His girl. Sorry, girl. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I not just don't same. want you to yeah, give yeah. the wife treatment to a girlfriend. It's different. It's different. Until you put a ring, until you put a ring on it, don't be using certain terms, because then you're going to expect wife treatment from a girlfriend. Him talking about be my brush, did he put a ring on it? I don't think so. M Michelle is a wife. Terry. Yeah, but she was Michelle before. In order to for you to proceed to be a wife, you gotta be you gotta be a wife before you gotta be the material before. That's what you think. I heard Barack married her right away. Anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, can we proceed with the girlfriend? We can't proceed with her, not the wife. <laughs> All right, I'll proceed with the girlfriend. Go for it. <laughs> so, this is my... go. <laughs> so it's calling his girlfriend like, oh, we're not supposed to do that. If I'm disappointed, and if my my girl is calling me, is is because she wants me to do better. Doesn't mean that she's mad at me or doesn't mean no, I'm not necessarily mad. But doesn't mean that she doesn't love me or she's trying to be toxic or whatever, whatnot. Like I think that narrative was thrown out there to be like, but I don't think they, hold they, on, hold they, on, hold they on. didn't find him guilty of that. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I what I'm saying is he, the I did not do thing was towards that. I think not. I, don't, I didn't. He didn't say I didn't. I, I no, didn't. he said he never put hands on her. He said he never hurt her. <laughs> How is that your defense when there's clear physical evidence of the injuries? And the reason why he did that, you want to know real, the real reason why he did that? Wow. Is because he wanted to keep all of his jobs. It was really important, I suspect, I don't actually know this, 
I suspect because they wanted the good PR, he had to go with I did nothing and the courts are going to prove it. That's but he can't. It, it didn't work out in court, and now it backfired because now he got a criminal record, and now the public thinks he really beat her. Versus, at least if he said, she tried to snatch my phone, and we got into a tussle, it still sounds terrible from a PR standpoint, right? Because like you said, it's a woman who's smaller, all that stuff. And you're still going to lose your job. But now you have a, a criminal record. Like, what you want me to say? I don't know. I, I just thought that was a dumb part to me. Do I think? I think this is a mutually bad relationship for both parties. Okay? It's possible. That and it... you're seeing her run after him in the streets, doing all this stuff. You can clearly see she's not all up there either. These are two people who were saying weird stuff and doing weird stuff to each other. Um, was it like they was beating on each other? It doesn't look like it. They don't really have physical evidence of that to that degree. You don't have to get to that degree for it to be toxic. Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. But, you know, that video is pretty much what sealed the deal for him, plus the physical evidence. I just think the, the, his lawyers did a bad job. So all the people saying this is a miscarriage of justice, I don't think so. You think you're going to go to... I don't think it's a miscarriage of justice. I just think this appeal? is bad lawyers. You think it's going to be... They, they always appeal. They always appeal. Does it really matter? Like, most people who appeal, like, 95% of them don't get anywhere with it. So, they'll appear. They'll appeal, but, like, you, you, missed, you missed the chance. And now, even if you appeal and you succeed, like, people are still going to say you were found guilty. So, I don't know. Uh, that's a, what I thought watching this. Everybody loses. What do you think? It's very unfortunate. Uh, then again, one thing that we have to note is that um, the uh, the jury was not a hundred percent on everything. Like what I mean by that, it was like a you know when you fight and there's a split decision. That's what it was. Not everybody was um, was agreeing with all those things. That's why we have like a kind of a split with the with the with the decision of the jury. The jury was not all of them were not agreeing with. Yeah, he did that or that was clear or anything like that. People was like, yes, no. So it came to that conclusion anyways. There's always something that is weird to me whenever there's people in the public like that and it goes out in the open and then everything is known. I understand why it's done, but it's, it, it's just, there's something that is very off about, about, about it's like you want you really want to hurt the person more than just getting reparation or or or, or for, for what happened or anything like that you know you wouldn't necessarily want to no he did something bad to me but you want it's like you want to hurt his whole career and that's something that's kind of weird for me i understand where it's why, why it's happening but it, it's i don't know why it hurts me that it, it hurts me a bit i don't know why i'm like mm, i don't know why why is that happening like that Sh should we do should we do that i ask myself the question of like why is it so so public? But then again, I understand it's Hollywood. People want to know, and people will know, and it's something that is relevant um, to, to some people. You know, every time there's a there's a there's a problem with like stars, everybody has to know when it's blown. It's in the news. Ooh, this is what happened. It's kind of, the re it's, it's, it really sounds like a revenge or something like that. You know, to me, I, I feel uneasy with that part, but it's something that, that has nothing to do with one or the other. It's always going to be like that. Yeah, I always feel like, mm. if there was normal people, of course, I wouldn't be in the news that bad necessarily, you know? But because it's known, yeah, let's affect this whole ass career, which goes back to the question of, should we separate a person's personal life and his art? No, there's no reason to, because they use their personal life to promote themselves. They use their relationships to promote their brands. They use a lot of their stuff. And the truth is, the public cares about the kind of people they support. Mm. So they don't want to see actors who have criminal histories of stealing or murdering. or They probably don't want to necessarily watch movies with those people. So it's relevant to the audiences. And it's relevant to the PR. Like, you know, marketing of a movie is just as important as the movie itself oftentimes. Yeah. But that thing it was so, so gray and not clear. And there was a lot of things and a lot of... Uh, a lot of elements that we're not seeing as we're not sitting in court and seeing all the evidence. Mm. So basing ourselves on that is very great. Like there's a lot of things that are not showing in the news. And even if you're watching the news, it's, it's, it's depending of which news outlet you're watching. Some were saying, Oh, he's guilty. And I'm like, yeah, no, nah, it's not exactly what the fuck is going on. Uh, and, and other news outlet were, were trying to say, Hey, you know what? Uh, let's put a little, a little, a little, but a little bit of water in our wine and just simmer it down and see, let me, let, let us explain to you what, what really happens. So I understand that the, the, the people want to, want to, the people want to know what's happening and stuff like that. I understand all that, but it's, it's still, it's so, it was great. It was really great. I feel like there's a lot of things that we're missing for us 
to be able to to be like, no, I don't like him because he he beats women, or even say to the girl, nah, she he was saying he was being abusive or she was lying. There's a lot of elements that we're missing. We're not in court, and it's like it's it's a weird one for me to be like, yeah, no, he did that or he didn't. I can't judge someone like that. I was not in court. This is a story of somebody who hired either A, an incompetent lawyer, or B, ran with a really bad strategy for their defense. Hmm. That's what this is really about. Because he had a reasonable out. Well, sometimes it's not the lawyer. Sometimes that's what the, what the client wants. Sometimes the, yes. the lawyer says, I think our best route is this. Yeah. And the client is like, nah. I'm paying you. Yes. I didn't do shit. Yeah. So true. if you're going to go up there and say that I did this shit, I, you're going to get fired. That's why like, I said bad whoa, strategy. Listen, Either A or B. Bad listen, strategy. That's, sometimes a lawyer, the lawyer, the lawyer doesn't necessarily take the reins. Yeah. Depending on what kind of lawyer you got. True. Whatever. They don't necessarily take the reins. They're like, listen, that's what the client, there's some lawyers that are like, they're going to they're gonna be like, hey, that's what the client wants. That's what the client's going to get. I don't want to do that, but that's what you want. Uh-huh. And you're going to be happy. And at the end of the day, the lawyer can go, hey, hey. Hey, we went your way. Uh-huh. And it turned out the way that I said it, it could possibly turn out. I did my job. Pay up, sucker. You know what I mean? So I'm not necessarily going to, yeah. I, I, because I know that I understand why you're giving the two, the two, um, the two options. It's the one two the options. Other, Maybe I'm, not, I'm not in the room, so I don't know exactly, what Exactly, we don't know. But, but I, I couldn't believe it when they just didn't go that route. You know what? I, I also think her going public, I'm not even mad at her for going public because, this stuff got out, right? It gets out, people start spinning narratives. If I'm not me, not only did I find out you cheating on me, you making me look stupid, but now you're trying to make me, oh no, I'm telling everybody everything. This man beat me, he gaslit me, he stonewalled me, he was a bad boyfriend who emotionally abused me, and then he tried to take his phone back because he was cheating with another woman, and guess what he doing to her? He abusing her too. Yeah, Jonathan Miners. Likes kids. Minus. Yeah, he does. I would have said everything. You gonna cheat on me and make me look stupid? Not today, nigga. Even though I'm white, I like saying it. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have gone public with that shit, you, too. You like the idea that she said nigga. Yeah. I think she did. Do I have any proof of that? Absolutely not. Yeah, you can't go to court. But I talked to a lot of my black sisters, and they don't like Jonathan Majors once they found out his girl was white. And they say she says nigga. So, I trust them. <laughs> Fight the power. <laughs> That's right, sisters. This ain't our fight. This one ain't one of ours. Sit this one out, sisters. I see you in the comment section. I see you. It's okay. I respect it. As far as his career goes, like, I is think it it's, sad and unfortunate? Yeah. I think I don't think it's the end of this of his career. I think it's gonna last a, a six months to a year. Oh, no, no, no. You think so? Yeah. We taking bets on this? You said the same thing with Pirates of the Caribbean. You said the same thing. I said, they're going to call back Johnny. And they called back Johnny. You said either. No, they didn't. They didn't call him back. It's not even happening. That's just a rumor that came out, but that never even happened. And has Johnny Depp been in any major movies? Let me check. I know he did some low-budget stuff. And shout out to Johnny. I hope his career comes back. But to my knowledge, he hasn't done anything. Let me see. Johnny Depp movies. So the last movie he did is in 2023, which is the the, the, the one I was telling you about. This thing. It was like a fucking... Yeah, there's nothing. He's not doing shit. His career's over. Oh, it, 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 what has he done since? There's no way they were going to reboot him. His name has too much stuff going on for them. I think that's just rumors that people put out because they want clicks. There's no There's no proof. Now, look, if he does make a comeback, maybe. But how long has it been since then? So we're still going to see. So, so how long has it been since then? It's been, what, over a year and a half now? Oh, we didn't bet any time frame. We said for the pirate carrying thing. All right, we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe in a decade. You never know. But who, a lot of these people, even if they beat the case, because it's just so public, they, they don't want to touch it because it's like kryptonite to them. So you think he's going to be back in six months with a guilty verdict? What 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 kind of movie? Well, Disney's not bringing him back, so who will? Tyler Perry might hire him, maybe. If you want to be the next Medea, he can be the big girl now. What? Ma- Madea's daughter. <laughs> Madea's daughter would be good. Yeah. It's no, over. It's over? It's over. It's over. He was that guy. He will never, ever come close to sniffing that shit again. He will never come close to say, I put my money on it. My life savings on it. How much? 
I put a hundred k on it. There's no way he's ever sniffing any of that shit again. It's not a not a not a role. He got a guilty verdict, my nigga. Not a role. Not not not. A role. No, he might sh- show up in some Ricky Dick movie. I'm talking about majors, for majors. That's not happening. You think he's gonna come back to doing that with a guilty verdict I don't of know. domestic? Sorry, reckless, uh, aggravated assault. Still, towards the woman. Every interview, that shit coming up. You think he's coming back with that? How much do you think we've evolved as a society where he coming back with? Uh, 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 maybe that's the fact that we haven't evolved that he's going to come back. Not the fact that we evolved. It's the fact that we haven't evolved. Just a month. Jimmy, that he's going to that's going to come back. I'm curious. Okay, outside of the dudes in the in, in the past, like Sean Connery, give me examples of dudes who got charged with beating their wives and made a career comeback. And it was public like this. He didn't get charged by of beating his wife. Of beating, sorry, his girlfriend. Reckless, okay, yeah. aggravated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, you know, <laughs> yeah. Beating his girl. Beating his girl. Don't, don't give the wife treatment. Uh, you right. My so- don't, Sorry, don't, sister. Don't sorry. Don't give the wife treatment. Well, Okay, so he beat his girl. To a hoopla. Okay, so yes, he beat his girl. (laughs) That's that's what the charges say. It doesn't matter what reality is. It's on the guilty verdict, and it's on camera, and it looks terrible. So. Well, he he got freed of that. He didn't beat. No. He got charged. No, he's guilty. There's a tussle, and he hurt her in the process. He didn't beat her. Is that what you're going to say in press conferences? In every interview? Yeah. 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 There's a tussle. Ain't no movie studio bringing you back. Ain't no movie studio. I, I, you know what? Leave a comment below. Tell me, tell me why you think I'm wrong about him making a comeback and who you see make a comeback from stuff like this that was this publicized. I'd be curious. I can't think of one person who's made a comeback. There's some nerds out there that wouldn't know that shit. Sure. I'm just thinking about all the public cases I've seen till now. Nerds unite. No. And it's just like these people don't need. They don't come back. You don't. You're not. You're not gonna ask your nerds friend. No. Let us know what you asked in the comments. So I'm curious. Ask the, ask, the, ask the Discord. Yeah, yeah, Discord. There's also Reddit. We just see the side of your forehead.